Good evening. We begin again tonight in B.C. where firefighters spent another exhausting day battling blazes. Wildfires across the province have left a trail of destruction and forced hundreds of families from their homes. Right now there are more than 170 active fires in B.C., 80 new ones in just the last two days. Tonight more evacuees from the devastated town of Lytton are sharing their stories with some asking why they were left to fend for themselves. CTV's Bill Fortier starts us off. The monster known as the Lytton Creek wildfire climbs mountains, moves quickly, and leaves a trail of devastation. At least two people are dead. Most of the town of Lytton is gone. That's their basement. Including the home of Cleanne Coughlin and her family. For now, they're staying with friends in nearby Lillooet. I don't feel like I've even processed or even gotten to the point where I can feel that sadness because I just feel like we're just trying to make sure that each day is is good for our kids. I do miss my Pokemon cards and my stuffies. And as a family, they lost a lot more, but they still have each other and hope government disaster support and a GoFundMe page will help them replace the rest. I'm feeling unprepared and I'm feeling uncertain. Pretty emotional. Summer Deneau also had to leave her Lytton home. She's in Kamloops. Her husband is on the front line fighting the wildfires. He just called us last night, finally. And yeah, we all had a little cry. Many Lytton residents say they were told to leave in a hurry, but that message did not get to everyone. Nobody stepped forward for significant hours while this was going on. The chair of a local tribal organization says provincial officials did not contact First Nations about the incoming threat until hours after other communities. Though as a rancher, Chief Matt Pasco was contacted by BC authorities to check on his livestock. My cattle mean more to this province than an I'm with people. Though the cause of the Lytton Creek wildfire isn't clear, shortly before it broke out, one resident took this video of a train that appeared to be on fire as it headed into town. Fire started there and I'm not 100% that was the one that went to Lytton, but it was pretty obvious with the way the wind was blowing. It was, yeah. It was heading that way. The fires burning near Lytton are still classified as out of control, and BC wildfire officials say they are expected to continue to grow. And because it's so difficult to even get in there, they're not even sure how big they are. Bill Fortier, CTV News, north of Lytton, BC.